Hello, this is Daniel, please. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to install Optifine with Forge for Minecraft 1.16.2. Since I'm getting a lot of questions about Optifine not working together with Forge and people not knowing how to actually combine those two mods without, you know, installing them separately. So to get started, obviously we need Forge for Minecraft 1.16.2. So I'm going to open up my browser, head over to Google and just type in Forge for 1.16.2. I'll put the link, um, actually I'll put every single link that I use in this video in the description. So the description is where you want to be. It's actually where I put all of the useful links so you don't have to do any of the searches yourself. So we're on the official Forge website and what you're going to want to do is actually go over here in, in this left menu that says Minecraft version. You want to click 1.16 obviously and then select the subcategory 1.16.2. And all you can select here is the latest version. No recommended version, just the latest version. And what you're going to want to do is actually click the installer, which is this one with the little box here. What this is going to do is once again redirect you to an ad page, but these are one of the more friendly ad pages in my opinion that do not really come with any weird notifications or stuff like that. Just don't click anything in here if you're not interested in this and just click skip right here. Now what this will do is actually download Forge as an installer. And as you can see, this is a .jar file. Now, usually you can just click this and execute this, but for some people that doesn't work. So what you're going to want to do is actually go over to Google again, type in jar fix. And um, once again, the link to this will be down in the description. So if your files, your .jar files do not open with Java, then this is the program you need. You want to go over to jar fix and this is version 3.0. That's not very relevant, but just stating that. Um, and then over on the website, it's kind of hard to find, but here it's uh, this little blue text that says jarfix.exe. You want to click it. I've already downloaded it for another tutorial, I'll be honest with you, but um, all you got to do is actually click that. It will open up a, um, a user account control uh, pop-up, you know, and you just got to click yes there because you have to execute this as an administrator. Um, so there we go. It's actually just fixed our jar files and um, that's pretty much it. Now we can actually click the Forge installer. Now do know that before you install Forge, you are gonna wanna actually um, launch Minecraft first. Once, just, just once, that's enough. So what you're gonna wanna do is instead of installing this immediately, we're gonna go over to the Minecraft launcher. And just like that, you're gonna wanna actually select the latest release, which is 1.16.2. Now there's probably a 0.0% .0 chance that you don't have this profile but should you not have a profile that says 1.16.2 what you're going to want to do is go over to installations here click new name your profile anything you like i'm just going to name it daniel place and then you want to come over here where it says version and what you're going to actually do is select version 1.16.2 which is automatically labeled the latest release then you're going to want to click uh, create and there you go, you have a new profile that actually has 1.16.2 as the version. So what you're going to want to do now is actually click play. So Minecraft 1.16.2 has just launched successfully. This is actually enough. You can just click quit game at this point. Now you want to go back into your browser, go over to your downloads, which for me is always control J, which works perfectly fine on Google Chrome. Um, you might actually have to go into your own downloads folder to be able to find the installer that you just downloaded. But here it is, it's Forge 1.16.2. If it's anything different, don't click it, don't install it, it has to have this name. But if it does, then just click it, it will open up the installer we had earlier, and then make sure it has, um, it's on install client. So this is the option that you actually want. Now what you're going to want to do is actually just click OK. You're going to see this little pop up right here that's going to tell you um you know what it's doing exactly what is happening you're just going to have to wait for a few seconds here actually it took about a minute or so i don't know maybe half a minute but it felt longer than usual 
But anyway, it did say that it has now successfully installed the client profile for Forge, Forge version 1.16.2, which is great. That's exactly what we wanted, right? So now we're at that point where we actually want to use Optifine together with Forge for 1.16.2. It's a good thing that we've already got Forge installed by now. So that's great. But now, of course, we need to get ourselves Optifine. So what you're going to want to do is actually use the link in the description to be sure that you've actually got the correct website. It's optifine.net slash downloads. Um, so if you're on optifine.net, you would just want to click downloads over here. So then you're going to end up here where it says Minecraft 1.16.2. And this is actually the um, latest release for 1.16.2. What you want to do is just click download, obviously. We're going to be redirected to yet another ad page, but these creators have to make money, you know, some way. Um, so I don't blame them for that. Just click skip over here. And this is the download page for Optifine for 1.16.2. So just click this and as soon as it downloads, you want to click, uh, you want to close this tab actually because it will usually pop up with another ad. There we go. It's actually just downloaded the file. Um, for me, it doesn't redirect me just yet, but I'm going to close the tab anyway. As you can see, we've just downloaded Optifine for 1.16.2. It's actually going to give us a warning for .jar files every now and then because, you know, .jar files can potentially contain some, um, some you know viruses or stuff like that that you really don't want in your computer but as long as you've used the link that i provided you with in the description it's not going to be bad for your computer and as long as it's got a name that looks like optifine underscore 1.16.2 something it should be good so you can just click keep right there and what you're going to want to do now since we just fixed the jar files you should be able to click this but this is the way to actually install Optifine without Forge. And we want to actually use Optifine together with Forge. So what you're going to want to do is instead of doing the installation process as per usual, you're going to want to actually go into the folder that or actually just drag Optifine to your desktop. That's even better, just like that. And then what you're going to want to do is actually go into the search bar right here. This works especially well on um, on Windows and you want to type in percent app data percent hit enter and there we go this is our app data and as you can see there's dot minecraft right there and then there is no folder called mods but what you're going to want to do is if it's not there you just create it so you create a new folder name it mods lowercase is the best way to go and then drag in optifine.jar you can just drag it into your mods folder and that is pretty much it you can actually install a bunch of other mods on top of this as well. So all of your other mods will work for 1.16.2 with Optifine so you can use mods and shaders at the same time. So clearly we've been able to install Forge because it will say at the top here, warning Forge beta. Now this is not an issue. It's just letting you know that this is not a recommended release just yet. It will also tell us right here that we're using Forge, well, whichever version you're using, it's gonna tell you you're using Forge. Now, since we have Forge successfully installed into Minecraft 1.16.2, we can now click this button that says mods. And you can see that it says, well, you know, Minecraft and Forge. Now it will not say that you have Optifine installed, but you can check whether you have or haven't by going into options and then video settings. And in the bottom left corner here, it will let you know that you're using Optifine and then the specific version you're using. And over here, it will let you know that you're using Minecraft 1.16.2. So obviously with Optifine, you get the shaders menu. So as long as you see this actual shaders menu, you will have installed Optifine and Forge correctly together. So I just hopped onto my non-public uh, Minecraft server. And as you can see, the BSL shaders are actually working and we're using Forge. So this is exactly um, the point of this video to show you that you can use Forge and Optifine together. Um, and that's pretty much what a lot of people actually asked me to explain. So here you are. This is actually the ultimate way to install Forge and Optifine 1.16.2 together. So I hope this tutorial actually worked. If so, then of course, be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, then of course, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. And as always, I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya.